You know, Half-Life 2 is probably one of my most favorite video games of all time. With immersive gameplay and incredible storytelling such as this, it's hard not to like it. It was innovative for the time, and it's innovative. What? You know, the canal section is probably one of my favorite parts of Half-Life 2. The aesthetic of it really makes you feel like you're running through a canal section of the city. Not to mention it has some of the best gameplay throughout the entire game. It's probably my favorite, although I already said that at the beginning of this uh, section. Um, just... Come on, dude, really? 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 Oh my cur- please, come on! Okay, let's do this the easy way. Let's... There we go. Just look at how diverse the areas in Half-Life 2 are. Look at this, this is the exact same chapter, only a few maps later. This looks completely different, but still believably in a sewer system. It's one of the reasons why I love this game. Um, except for manhacks. Except, except for manhacks. Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. Get them away from me. Who thought these things were a good idea? Because they were not. And... Oh god. Just... Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, sorry, pistol doesn't do any damage. It doesn't even have any ammo in it, just realized. It's probably just a kid's toy. It's not even anything inside. I saved him. We don't go to Ravenholm. Another classic chapter. Ravenholm is probably a. a What, what the f what? Oh, pro tip, you can actually uh, kill the birds. Yeah, he's dead. He's not coming back. He's dead. Why are his legs green? A oh, fun fact, the best way to go through Ravenholm is to do the pacifist route. Don't kill a single zombie. Just run right past all of them because the... Devs really didn't design this part if you uh, not killing any of them in mines. In fact, I'm pretty sure they designed the entire game with the thought of you just um, running around murdering things, but I'm actually a uh, kind-hearted soul. I have a, a soft spot for tickles. Okay, we might have to resort to violence in this section, but it won't be much, don't worry. It, it's not that much. It, it's not that much violence. It's... don't worry, it's, it's, it's peaceful. Just having a peaceful protest over here, nothing too crazy. Oh my... I just socked him! Oh my go oh god, oh god, get away from me. Jesus, okay. Alright, no, this is a very tough scene. It's a very tough area to get through in Half-Life 2. You have to call up the elevator while fending off hordes of fast zombies. It's incredibly tense, probably one of the tensest moments throughout the game, if not the blowing up of the Citadel. This game really knows how to heighten tensions. Let me reload my shotgun real quick. Oh. Oh, I kind of ruined the skit because of auto-reloading. Sorry guys, you're a bit late, I'm already out. Um, you can come by Friday, I'll be back here. But, um, kind of gone. See ya. Man, after such a crazy fight, my shotgun's out of ammo. I better reload. Now, where to go? Alright. 
This area of Ravenholm can be a bit of a maze, especially if you don't know your way around. But once you've played it a few times, you should definitely know where to go. And the game does do a pretty alright job of telling you where to go with all these light posts. It's kind of insane the amount of shotgun ammo they give you in this section. You can kind of just like use it entirely. You're meant to use the gravity gun a lot, but like they give you so much buckshot ammo you can just plow through enemies. Look at this. I'm not even trying. Just holding my mouse two key. And sometimes mouse one occasionally. Intended me. Greetings, brother. And oh, God. Guys, guys, come on, come on, we can work this out. You don't have to get violent about things. I never did anything to you or your friends, come on. Come on, let's be reasonable here. Let's act like civilized gentlemen. That's what we are. Civilized, civilized, si civilized, civil. C civil. You know, this is actually a trick. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to get in, aren't I? Okay. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this. I wanna get off. I wanna get off. I wanna get off Dr. Green's wild ride. Let me out. Uh, I am so filing a lawsuit. We're in America, right? I can do that. You know, people normally take the buggy because it's a lot faster than walking. But I have an even faster method. Gordon's super shoes! <laughs> Same pool ain't got nothing on Gordon! Enable hyperspeed. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas, I've got places to be. Gordon Freeman. Gordon, hurry, get in the basement. We're expecting gunships in it. Colonel Cover just don't type of that. Be very quiet. This is a stealth section after all. Don't want to make a single noise. Isn't that right, guys? Oh no, we've been spotted. It's okay, I can get through this using gridded super legs. Now, unfortunately, for his crimes against humanity, Gordon has been locked in a prison cell where he will live 
the rest of his life. This is the canonical ending of Half-Life 2.